Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito. I am your host, Darian. Your host, Landon. And today, we got a plethora of stuff we're going to get into. We got Marvel DC games. Sad, sad games. We're going to get into that. Yeah. First, how have you been? Not well. After <laughs> um, hearing the news, uh, you know, about what we're going to talk about here in a minute. Uh, yeah. No, I haven't been good. <laughs> it's not been good. But how about you? Um, other than ever since Friday until now, which is Saturday the 21st as we're recording this, um, it has not been great. But um, before, I mean, I was having fun. It's uh, uh, writing comic book stuff. And um, I mean, it's really it, honestly. Writing and enjoying people complaining on Twitter about James Gunn. <laughs> yeah, I know you've loved that so far. Yeah, it's hilarious. Um, yeah, I started Arkham, uh, streaming Batman Arkham Asylum last night. I'll have another stream after we finish recording here, actually. Um, but I saw people seem to... I saw reviews on it, uh, or current comments. People seem to be really happy we're doing this. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and... I, mean, I think I think we should. Yeah, I, guess, um, I think we should probably do more superhero games. Yeah, maybe a little I mean, we are, there. <laughs> we're called the comic Maria for reasons. Yeah, but I was just but, doing horror games because I felt like it. Um, which I still do horror games. I'm not going to stop doing that. You could technically say Arkham Asylum is a horror game. Yeah, if wanted to. Anyway, uh, game. That's, that's true. Um. Uh, I think that's that. And with that being said, go ahead and get into the stuff of this episode. Um, first, starting off with the YouTube numbers, because we got to thank the p- you people out there that are tuning in and listening. Because at the moment, we are sitting at, last time we recorded, I believe we were at 700 and something subscribers. I can't remember yeah. the exactly number. Um, as of recording this at the moment, we are at 974 subscribers. We are... 23 no no sorry math wrong 26 away from hitting 1000 our goal it's uh, I, mean, I mean this is insane i mean i am i can i mean i couldn't be more more grateful um uh, you know what i'm saying uh it, it's it's truly an honor, honor yeah. of everyone uh yeah i agree I feel like I deserve it, but or we deserve it, but uh, yeah, all we you. do is talk for an hour and thirty minutes straight. You guys mm. seem to love it, so there we go. Um, I do want to also thank you guys because the premiere of the Arkham File season two and its second episode, the Clayface and Catwoman episodes, are the most viewed episodes out of any the Arkham Files series, whether that be season one or season two, season two's premiere with Clayface came in at 83 views, um, which is a lot compared to the previous season. It's almost... Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely simple. a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. But, yeah, I want to thank you guys for that new episode yeah, that yeah. is coming up. A- yeah. Um, yeah, new episode yeah. coming up yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, I Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna claim. I mean, like, because it's crazy. Because Arkham Files, is, it's crazy how like no matter, you know, even like a little like side thing, you, uh, every one of y'all seem to um, enjoy a lot, and I'm, I'm, I'm more than grateful of that. It's it's great. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we'd like to thank you, thank you so much for subscribing, all you out there. And if you're listening, and you aren't subscribed. Why don't you think about subscribing? Maybe hit the notification bell. Get notified on whether we upload anything, if it's a stream or a episode of the podcast or anything of that nature. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just a little thank you there. Yep. Let's hit 1K. We're going to hit 1K this week. I feel it. Um, That's how all right. Awesome. Yeah. We'll do, we'll do something. <laughs> I don't yep. know what. Let's see here. Um, all right. First up is kind of a warning. <clears throat> um now, there has been a leak of um, the entire script for Ant-Man and Lost Quantumania has got leaked. 
and uh, people are warning about it all over social media. So I thought I'd want to hear that. Be careful. If you don't want to be spoiled on major, major stuff in the movie, um, I'd suggest muting any keywords about Ant-Man or anything on yeah. social media, which I do plan on doing because I don't want to be spoiled on this movie. And yeah, I, um, I actually tried to look for it earlier. Earlier. I mean, not, not that I was going to read it or anything. I just wanted to see, like, maybe see like, the first, like, couple of lines. And that's it. Mm-hmm. I did hear. I, I, and this is, it, I was going to read it. <laughs> yeah, this, was, this is an incentive to go read it. I did hear some people did read it and they did say that this movie is going to be amazing. And so apparently okay. the script is good. Because normally when scripts, scripts leak, you hear like, oh, no, it's bad dialogue, all this stuff. But is there, from what, I, from what uh, I heard, some people say it was pretty good. Is there, is there any negatives that we. That I haven't seen any. I haven't. Well, I haven't seen anything because okay, I, I haven't seen nobody talk about I mean, I saw yeah, I've talk, seen, it was just yeah. the fact that oh right man three script got script got leaked but a fantastic four thing can't get leaked <laughs> like, that's the only thing i've heard yeah um, um, and fantastic four doesn't come out until like another two years so i mean they need well, to start filming everyone's begging like, for it that's not concept art or <laughs> cast news. Mm-hmm. um they haven't gotten any cast news recently so i might they may have cast somebody already yeah for the roles yeah. wait i haven't got i don't think we've got much yeah. Um, all right, sorry about that, everybody. So it's technical difficulties, but we are back. We're talking with the Ant-Man script. Um, yeah, uh, I, I mean, you know, be cautious. I, I'm actually a bit interested of in, like what it has to, you know, like what the heck was, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited. I don't know. A part of me wants to see it, but other part of me does not. So yeah, I'm muting. Um, all the keywords for like Ant Man, Quantum Mania, all that stuff, just yeah, so I can. I, I don't want the movie's, movies too close, and I don't want to be spoiled. And I mean, I I don't know. Did you see the? Um, everyone's talking about. It. Well, I saw a bunch of posts about it. I watched it uh, maybe about a week ago, I think, or a little bit less. There was a trailer, a little like three D trailer they put out for the movie. It showed some new stuff, but well, not most. Most of it was like the same stuff in the other trailer, but some of it was new. I did not see that. Um, this is a really good trailer. Um, I can talk about that real quick just because um, it's not much to it. It's like a minute long. Yeah, okay. Hang on, let me find let me get oh, it here. It's called Home. That's the name of the trailer. You know, I did see it. I did see it. Never mind. It, I did see it. Yeah, it opens up. The screen oh. opens and you hear him going, it's okay, just breathe. And Cassie's like... And it's like... Uh, she's doing that. He's like, we're going to get out of here. We're going to be okay. And... It shows some more Kang in there. Um, let's see. It's awesome. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I, I'm trying to I love I love Paul Rudd as Ant Man. He's so good. Yeah, I agree. Um, you see, Kang say something. We saw see get a better look at Modok too in the trailer. Um, sort of. It's it's the same scene where we first see him without his mask on, except it's extended a little bit, so you see him a little better. <laughs> um, I love his little legs. Oh, his little legs, Mister Mister Electric. Mr. Electric, yes. Um, and in the trailer, you hear Kang talk about uh, this place isn't what you think. He said it's a cage. I want to be in. Um, he needs Ant Man's help to escape. And it shows some of Kang, some Kang's little like city or whatever. And you hear Janet saying, um, "What are you doing? He's a monster. You can't trust him." And he you hear Kang say, "I'm just a man, but I know how how it ends." Oh. Um. And then, yeah, we see some stuff we hear Ant Man say, um, I can't let him get free. And like this whole thing, I feel like, and then you get the whole like, he stomps on Ant Man, and then he's like, I don't have to win. We just both have to lose. Yeah. That's how it, it kind of ends like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was pretty good. It was a pretty good trailer for what it was, just a little like one minute long thing. I think mm-hmm. I will be seeing this movie in 3D after I watch it normally. You think so? I think it'll look. I think it'll look good in 3D. Doctor mm-hmm. Strange looked good in 3D. I never saw it. I saw the first one thing. I never saw the second one three D. Yeah, it looked good. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd put that for a minute. I'm just not. I'm uh, not into like, stuff like 3D movies I, at all. Like, well, I, I like the 3D movies as an experience. I don't like watching it a movie as my first go through at 3D. I did that with Spider Man Homecoming. Oh, I got. Uh, I mean, it was okay. 
it's I mean it's just not my thing. I mean I every movie I, in three D is not like that crazy anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean I, <laughs> it, it's just not my uh I don't know. It's just I it, do I liked it when I was a kid. I really wanted to see like every movie in three D because I'm like, dude, these people like these characters are gonna pop out at me. But now I'm just not really into it. But I haven't yeah. been to one in a long time, so maybe the technology's got better. I mean, most yeah. likely have. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see movies in IMAX. I've seen a few movies in IMAX, and I'd like to see most Marvel movies are probably pretty good in IMAX. Oh, um, yeah. I'll, big event yeah. ones. That's like IMAX. And all. Like, I saw um, I saw No Way Home in like IMAX the most of the yeah. time. Um, uh, IMAX is pretty good. I'll probably see um, Guardians in IMAX. I haven't thought about it. I, I don't know. I'm excited for that movie. I'm ready. I know, I know um, you're ready. I just remembered something for um, news. I'm going to have to write down real quick. Um, but yeah, Ant-Man comes out um, not that long from now. I have a piece of news about it here in just a little bit. I'll um, up. Let me write this down real quick. One moment. This is behind the scenes stuff going on in front of uh, the scenes. Is that a thing? In front, okay. Uh, well. <laughs> okay, hang on. We're getting apparently a we're getting a big trailer day soon. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Like Loki and all that for a Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna um talk we'll talk about that here in a second. Speaking of Loki though, um Loki season two is reportedly going to feature not just one, not just two, but three Kang variants for the season. Mm. Yeah, that is triple the amount we had last time. It is. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I, I'm ready for Loki season two, and I really don't know much about it, though. We don't know like how much other stories going. Got some leaks at one point, and I had read them on the show, but I really don't remember exactly what they were. What it yeah. all was. I know something about um, there's some new villain and she's trying to like clean up the time. I don't know some timelines or something like that. Yeah. Um, I'm, excited. I'm excited for the season two of Loki because I, I mean, I, I mean, it is arguably the best. Uh, I mean, it wasn't my favorite, but it is. I would admit it is the. It is probably the best. The only thing that I'm weary about is that the showrunner. I don't know if how Disney Plus works. It's the showrunner, or it's like something else. But the late Kate Heron, I think her name was the. She was kind of the head of everything. She is not attached to season two. Ooh. So, but I don't know who is. So, let me look. I gotta look it up. Okay, season two showrunner, I guess. No. Uh, head writer is Eric Martin. Uh, heck no, there's head. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, sorry. Um. Eric Martin took over. Okay, uh, Kate Heron is a writer, actually. And um, no, I'm sorry. Okay, I keep getting everything wrong. This is my fault. <laughs> Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Waldron was the writer for Loki season one. Who Michael Waldron also wrote Doctor Strange, and he's writing. I think the rumor is that he's supposed to be writing. Um, Secret Wars or Kang Dynasty. I can't remember which one. Huh. Um, but he has said that the show season two is in capable hands with Eric Martin taking over as head writer. Um, Martin is no stranger to the Loki universe and it's a fitting choice. Having pinned the fourth and sixth episode, he, the lead writer for the whole season two is the guy who wrote finale and the guy who wrote episode four, which is the Nexus event, which is the one where Loki gets pruned at the end of it and had all those emotional moments. Okay. So this is definitely good. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. Because those yeah, are two good episodes. Because yeah, those are like the best episodes of the whole show, arguably. Yeah, and all season, all six episode was just talking, <laughs> basically the whole time. Yeah, but it was Kang. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. I don't know who the sh- new showrunner is, and it didn't tell me. I looked it up. Um, exa- uh, let's see, Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead. Are tapped to helm the majority of the episodes. Okay, and they did Moon Knight. Oh, okay. So the Moon Knight director with the Loki, other the Loki writer. It makes me a bit cautious. I mean, I loved Moon Knight, 
But I mean, it's nowhere near as good as Loki. Well, the quality of Moon Knight, like not like writing. They're not going to be writing it, so it's not going to be like the writing of Moon Knight. The quality of Moon Knight. Yeah, which I mean, the Moon Knight was okay. More magical kind of stuff going on. Um, mm. but yeah. All right. Let's see what's next. Oh yeah, here we go. The Marvels. Loki season two and Secret Invasion will all be getting trailers during the Super Bowl. Uh, uh, when, does, <laughs> when does the Marvels come out? Um, I want to say it's in the fall. Oh, let me look. The Marvels comes out. In, oh, J- July? No, that's not. I can't be. Oh yeah, okay, July of this year. July. For reason that, when I read it, I thought it said June, and I was like, wait a minute. And because that's. It- the, Come out by then, because uh, Super Bowl is February twelfth. Okay, Ant Man, you talking about? Yeah, Ant Man's February seventeenth. All right, so Ant Man hasn't come out yet. Okay, by that point. Okay, so yeah, um, and, oh, okay. yeah sure. So okay. it's um the order that should go if it's um if I'm thinking about this correctly, it's Ant Man, Secret Invasion, and then Guardians. Something in June. I think it's Loki in June. Loki season two. And then the Marvels in July. And then... I don't really know what's coming after. They're filming Agatha right now. I don't yeah. know if that comes this year. If they've delayed that till next year. Which was the rumor. Um, and... I think Ironheart. Oh yeah, Ironheart does come out this year as well. But I don't know when. I think during the fall we're going to have a bit of a break. Period. Yeah, most likely. Which seems um, like the way it's going to start going. Find it interesting. There is no new Guardians trailer, so I wonder if we're going to get something yeah. around the corner. That is true. That is true. I wouldn't be surprised if we get another Guardians trailer. Probably attached with Ant Man. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Lucky season two. Secret Invasion. I like a new Secret Invasion trailer. We got that one. It was good. And I just want to know more. Seems so interesting. But this, there's so much they could do with that story. I'm interested to see what they do. Plus, it leads into Armor Wars to get a lot of some War Machine in there. Yeah. I'm. Um, I'm not excited for the Marvels, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just that's my least anticipated Marvel first year. And, uh, what, what, what's her name? Uh, you got Monica uh, Rambo, Miss Marvel. Monica, yeah, Monica, yeah I'm excited. Nick, 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 Nick Fury's in the movie as well. And I'm just, um, no, I, I just don't care about Carol. Maybe, I, maybe Goose, maybe Goose is gonna be back. Who knows? Let's get, let's get Goose the cat back and the flirkin. I'm sorry. I, I, I just hate. I hate, I hate, I hate Captain Marvel. And I, I'm not excited for it. I, I think that's the one Marvel movie I skipped out on because I was, I, mean, I hated it. I was really excited for it. But I heard it was like really not good, and I was just like, oh no. I was like, I'm gonna skip this one, and I, I don't tell nobody I told you this, but I pirated it. And, uh, ooh, yeah. The FBI is kicking down the door right now. And I, I, could, I, I, I couldn't finish it. I was like, oh my god, this is this is not good. <laughs> I, I didn't like it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those are three trailers that we're getting during the Super Bowl. Um, speaking of Ant-Man, which we talked about, tickets are on sale right now for Ant-Man. Mm. Um, I was curious about... I will be getting mine uh, eventually. Um, oh. It's not... Hey. Yeah, I'll probably begin in the next week or two. Um, definitely, uh, like a before the movie, obviously. But let me look real quick at our local AMC theater to see how it's looking, how seats are looking, see if it's selling out. Yeah. Um, let me look at. You want me to look at opening night? Right. You want to do Thursday night or Friday? Do uh, Friday night. That's when most people will see it. Okay. Oh, this fits the wrong date. Sorry. Okay, uh, Friday, February seventeenth. All right, and I'm gonna are, click. I'm gonna go. What time do you think people would see it? Uh, just everybody gets off work around five fifteen, six, seven thirty. Dude, six thirty, seven thirty. Yeah, because I mean, everybody gets off work at like. Okay, five. I'll do six and seven thirty. Six o'clock on that Friday night. Um, there's nine seats taken from the six o'clock on that Friday night. Then again, we do live in a small little area in North Carolina. So that's probably why, um, we'll check seven 30. We'll see. Okay. Seven 30 is even less. Seven 30 has got seven. 
I've heard it crash the freaking website. What the heck? It did crash the website, but that is also not in North Carolina. So, I mean, oh, okay. can't well, probably could count as some of them. Let me check Thursday night. I bet that one is sold out. Or it's maybe close to it. A lot of people might be seeing it in 3D, though. I would be surprised. I'm assuming 9 o'clock Thursday night. It's got two seats taken. Okay. Um, and it's the worst seats. It's all the way in the back. Who would do that? Okay. Try to judge your seats. Pur- pur- purposely. <laughs> pur- let's purposely. Okay, it's a decent amount. Right get like purposely right next to those people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be awful. I saw one thing. A guy, um, there's one guy who picked a seat in the middle of the theater. There's no one around him. And the guy went and clicked a seat right beside the guy. I saw that. Monster. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but yeah, that was kind of a tangent we went on there. But yeah, tickets are on sale right now. So go get them. I don't think they're selling out too bad. Um, well, who knows? I guarantee this movie's going to be big. A lot of people are probably hesitant after Ant Man and the Wasp. But I mean, I can tell this movie's going to be better than Ant Man and the Wasp. Um, it's just like kind of get. It just kind of gives off that like good movie vibe. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, yeah. I think it's just like you got the good villain, you got a hero that everyone loves. And you've got um, the story, which seems to be interesting. I mean, it's all characters that we've known for a long time. So, I, mean, I don't know. And Modoc. I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with, uh, uh, what do you call it, like with Modoc? Because, I mean, I'm yeah, I guarantee they're gonna nervous, kill him. Honest, but I'm like really excited at the same time. I guarantee they're going to kill him. Modoc? Probably. Yeah, this, is my, this is my thought. This is like the way it goes because there's like no room for Modoc anywhere in the MCU. It just seemed like. Unless they want to start up AIM. Oh, no, AIM's already existed, hasn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, and Iron yeah. Man 3. Right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. And, I mean, so they're there. If they're um, still about or not, maybe they um, fresh and burn whenever like, Aldrich Killian. Was it Aldrich Killian? Aldrich head of, Yeah, head of AIM. Yeah. His, um, his science think tank or whatever you call it. Um, scientific think tank. Yeah, but go get your tickets. Batman yep. and the Wasp coming February 17th. Captain America New World Order is now set to begin filming on March 27th. Of this year? Yes. That's it awesome. comes out next year. It does come out next year, you're right. Um, so that means we'll be getting set photos soon and leaks. script, Maybe <laughs> some plot leaks and uh, stuff like that. We have a lot of new stuff starting to film. Um, Captain America New World Order, I read... I mean, I had talked about it last week. The Serpent Society is going to be in that movie. And yeah. um, one of the confirmed members right now is a character named Iman Beck. I think her name is. Or he's, it was a bunch of different versions of him. There's some are a girl and some is a guy. We uh, look at it. Serpent Society. Yes, okay, Diamondback's a girl, and what it looks like most of these. Uh, Rachel Layton. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the Serpent Society are just snake-themed supervillains. Yeah. I don't really know if they have powers. Not sure. I don't remember them having it, but I can't remember fully. She looks like a snake. Oh, okay. Uh, well... I guess not. I guess it's kind of just like okay, here we go. A skilled in throwing sharp diamond tips and a skilled gymnast. So I guess they each have their own kind of like qualities about them. Yeah. Um, I'm, just, I'm excited to see the Service Society. Everyone's wanted this for a long time, especially since they kind of, before they changed it to Civil War, it was supposed to be um, Captain America Serpent Society. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I'm willing to bet they did that entire thing to change it to... Uh... Because of Batman versus Superman coming out, that's probably true. That's probably uh, true. They're trying to capitalize on that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, filming for Captain America: New World Order. I, hey, Red Hulk in that movie too. We could get some stuff about him soon. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, who said that? Like Red Hulk's like not even like really hidden. It wasn't. Uh... Yeah, he's not. Um, yeah, his name is. Can we get host uh, on Twitter? He's a leaker. He works with Daniel RPK, and okay. well, he doesn't work with him. He. He posts the same information that Daniel RPK posts, like word for word. So I assume they're like either it working or he's getting the news from Daniel RPK. Whatever it is, it's reliable. <laughs> he's plagiarizing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but he said that they're not going to be hiding 
um, Red Hulk at all. He's going to be front center. So he's going to be kind of set up as the big villain. He's the overarching villain, but you also have your other villains that are going to be in the movie. Yeah. Um, I'm really c- curious. I'm, I mean, we know some about the story with the adamantium kind of stuff going on and um, the villains, but we don't know much else besides that. I did hear that Captain America is going to have a new suit. Not like a new suit. It's going to look kind of like the same, but the head is going to be different. It's not going to have um, the white whatever it is around his face. He's just going to have goggles, like newer goggles. Uh, I'm actually, I'll be okay with that because and, I'm, I know that you said you did, you thought it looked a little weird. Yeah, it looked off. Like I hate it because it, I mean, it's pretty comic accurate when, you know, that's all I could ever really ask for. Like, a, you know, the MCU. And this suit, but, I mean, this suit looks nice. I think it looks, mm, uh, it's yeah, like the, I just like it's, I, mean, I, I wouldn't change nothing about it, but like, yeah, the head, head part was cool, but I mean, the head part was a bit off, but yeah. if there's, the goggles, I'd be cool with that. If they can keep everything else the same, that's I mean, I think that's a pretty perfect suit. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, do you think Bucky is going to show up in this movie? Uh, but Bucky, yeah. Uh, I can see a mention, but I don't think he will be. Yeah, or maybe like a phone call or something. I no, feel like Bucky. I, I don't. Know, I feel like Bucky because he's like kind of hanging out with the, um, Sam's family a little bit. We saw at the end, and they're good friends now. I don't know. I, I guarantee he's gonna have something I, to mention. They could. You're probably right with like a mention. I, I, I want to hear. I want to be able to hear like a mention of him. Like someone's like, you know, like one of Sam's family's like, here, call, Buck, you know, call Bucky. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to help. And then, you know, and then maybe you could have a reference with something like, oh, Bucky's busy right now, and like someone could set up Thunderbolts because Bucky's in the Thunderbolts, and Thunderbolts yeah. also has to do with them going to get the adamantium. Like, yeah, I, we just like built the whole story right there. That's I mean, I, I'm, well, I mean, I'm, I guarantee, almost kind of guarantee that's what's going to happen. Yeah, and speaking of Thunderbolts, it starts filming in June. Oh, that's great news. Um, everything's starting to go now. They're filming. Um, they're, they're start, I think the way it seems they're doing this, they're releasing all the stuff leading like in the first half of the year and the last half of the year. It's kind of more spaced out to where you like get like one or two projects maybe. Um, towards the latter half of the year. I hear a lot of people, I mean, I don't know if you've heard this, but like, good like friends of mine, man, they're all like, I love Marvel stuff, but man, I'm I'm a bit tired out. Uh, you know, yeah, the, the, the so-called um, Marvel, Marvel fatigue is what the people are going. Yeah. Um, I can agree that it means it's a lot. I'm enjoying it for what it is. Like, I just like all this stuff. Like, oh, I wonder what they're going to do next. How is this going to send stuff? And now it's starting to like tie in. I'm getting more and yeah. more interested. Mm-hmm. And I do agree that it has been a lot. I think it's only because COVID and they pushed, they had to push back all that stuff and it caused a whole influx of projects in 2021. And they were still kind of running off at 2022. And now they're kind of starting to kind of get back to normal a little bit. It's less stuff. And I think next year we're going to have a little bit more, less stuff too. More, more uh, quality. Yeah. I, I, want. I mean, I, I, I'd say if, you're, if you are a true fan of what you want within, well, for the MCU, you want, you want quality over quantity. Yeah. I mean, you'll take that over anything else. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think it's rocket science. Though. No, <laughs> you know, I'm no. it is not. Um, speaking of quality, Check out this segue. Um, Black Panther Wakanda Forever comes out on um, February 1st. Sorry, I didn't know how else to lead into that. Um, on Disney Plus. And Disney Plus will be releasing the Wakanda Forever episode of Marvel Assembled on February 8th. Marvel Assembled being the behind-the-scenes show kind of thing they do with each movie and series that comes out. Some of them are actually really good. The WandaVision one was really good. I haven't watched all of them now. But um, I will be watching this kind of for everyone. Let's see how they did all, everything without Chadwick, and I guarantee it's gonna be like this. It'll be a good episode. Oh, right, definitely. Um, so I'll be watching that February eighth, week after um, it comes out on Disney Plus. Uh, oh, here we go. Some Daredevil news. Tony Award-winning actress Nikki M. James has joined the cast of Daredevil: Born Again. Nikki okay. M. James. Let me look her name up. Uh, okay. She has been in a lot of stuff. Let's see. IMDb. Um, actress, director, soundtrack. Oh, oh, she's a director? 
Now she's directed some stuff, yes. She acted in a TV show called Severance. Okay. Um, something on Spoiler Alert. A series called Modern Love. She's done a lot of Broadway, which, I mean, a lot of actors have done Broadway. Yeah. Um, there's a good fight here after. Maybe Welcome to the Wayne. With NCIS, New Orleans. Well, she's been in a lot of um, big drama TV shows. Blacklist, okay. Good Wife, Law and Order. Um... Dirty Rock. Okay. Oh, Dirty Rock. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, she's been a lot of stuff. She let's see what she directed. Directed The Good Fight and a TV series and A Bite. Which is another TV series. And she's done the soundtrack for some stuff too. Yeah. She performed some music. Okay. And she will be, and she won a Tony Award for it, so that's good. But she'll be in Daredevil Born Again. And something in a, in a series called Brain Dead as well. Okay, I've heard that. Never heard of that, but okay, I see. Yeah. Um. Okay, that's that. Next up here, Disney Plus will be releasing three new episodes of Marvel Studios Legends on February 10th, ahead of the release of Quantum Mania. Um, oh, that is uh, all. That's the show. Um. The. How would you describe it? Like a recap show? I don't know. Uh, it's like each episode's based off the different character and or th- something yeah, based yeah. on something. It's pretty cool. It's all like I mean, it's kind of cool. It's like oh, I'm interested in this character. Okay. Yeah. Or like you need a you need a reminder of what they what's happened leading up to it. Um, and you don't feel like watching a whole movie. Yeah. It is pretty cool. It's like, oh, I'm just doing this character. Okay, well, what other movies are they in? It kind of shows you at the end. It's like, oh, they're I think in. I think it's a good thing because Marvel, there's a lot going on right now. And there's been a lot of movies and shows. So, it's I mean, it's okay if you forget some things, right? I mean, I don't remember everything from some older, like, first Thor movie. I can't name everything that happened in that movie. And so, and maybe if I'm confused, I need to watch something. I watch one of those episodes and be like, oh, okay, yeah, I remember that. Like, just to get a little... Be caught up before the next project comes out. And now we're getting three of them for Ant-Man, Quantumania. I don't awesome. know. I guarantee one's Ant-Man, one's Wasp, and I guess the other one might be Hank? Cassie. I mean, maybe Ca- I thought Cassie. I'm... Not Cassie, no. That's true. Well, that's, yeah, maybe it could be Hank. Kang? I don't know. That Probably not. You know, he doesn't have much. Maybe the Quantum Realm will have its own episode. Wouldn't that be something? That's the name Quantum Realm. The Ten Rings had their own episode, and that wasn't really like a person. It was just like a big. I forgot about that. They do, don't they? Yeah. So I mean, Quantum the Quantum Realm could be one because I mean, Quantum Realm was used by the Avengers and first Ant Man. I think it go through all that, all the different appearances of. I'm not sure. I know Ant Man and the Wasp for sure in one in two episodes. Yeah. Um, Yeah, that'd be awesome. I, I I'll actually be. Very interested in watching that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Another thing that has begun filming actually uh, this past week was um, Agatha, Covenant of Chaos. And there were some set photos. I need to find these real quick. Agatha, Covenant of Chaos. There it is. All right. Images. It's not giving me anything. Oh, okay, here we go. There's a picture. Um, this was today, actually, in Atlanta. Um, someone took a picture of a Westview police truck um, crime scene unit. Huh. So there's some kind of crime going on in the show. There's also some set photos of Catherine Hahn and Joe Locke. Joe Locke is supposedly playing... Um, oh, gosh, what's his name? Oh, uh, Billy? Wiccan Wanda's son. Billy, yeah. Yeah, it's Billy. Yeah. Um, and he's walking. I think this is behind. They they're not filming anything, but Ethan Han is walking in uh, a mall, it looks like. And the sign says Westview Mall. And there's a, also a picture of the map of the mall and a picture of her sitting down at a table. And there. So it seems we're going to explore more of the town. And some yeah. more. I'm surprised there's a mall in that little town. I know, that's... but I mean, I guess they maybe maybe they built it and modernized a little bit. We didn't really see all of it. We saw like bits and pieces anyway. We saw the main town square. But that was about it. And I'm interested. They in Wandavision they mention Eastview, 
um, in the very first episode. And I want to see that place in the show. I want to see what's going on with Eastview. What, what is Eastview exactly? Exactly. What does that hold? Wanda went there and she started a new. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, good for her, I guess. How that character development down the drain. <laughs> So is Agatha still under Wanda's control? I mean, I guess we're going to get revealed. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, is that sure. right? Like, Charles, like, yeah, I'll need you next. Yeah, yeah, yeah she, yeah. I'm not sure. Um, I think so. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I do know that what's the actress's name? Aubrey. Aubrey, Audrey, Aubrey, Aubrey Plaza, Aubrey Plaza. That's it. Um, she's playing a villain in the show. Mm-hmm. I saw um, that. Um, which I mean, she's she's a good actress. She's good. I know her most from um, good actress. I just think she gets typecast, or either that, or she plays true. like exact same. I don't think the yeah. first time I ain't like. Yeah, uh, um, she played the villain in um, Legion, the X Men Fox show, FX show. Which is um, oh, actually really? pretty good. I would recommend watching that. I have not seen that show. Is that, you said it was good? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it, it dives into like the mental thing that goes on with mutants. So, like, ha- what happens if, like, what happens in the mind of a mutant? <laughs> that stuff. And it's just like so super psychological and like crazy. And there's some really crazy stuff that goes on in that show. Season one was really good. Now, I didn't finish season two. I, I think I forgot to watch season two, and I just kind of like slipped my mind and I never got around to watching it. But um, season one was really good from what I remember. Um, um, main character of Legion is um, played by my Green Arrow fan cast. Are you serious? Wow. Uh, yeah, Dan Stevens. Dan Stevens, wow. Yeah, it's okay. good. It's good show. Uh, so it's not like kids. It's like just no. It's like just adults. Yeah, they're all adults. Okay. Okay. I was all. I was thinking like, oh, it must be like a, it like when you first get your powers or whatever. It's a um show but uh, set an alternate timeline of the X Men film series, which I didn't know that. Um, ran for three seasons. So, oh, but let's okay. see. Um, he's he David Stan Stevens plays David Holler, a mutant diagnosed with schizophrenia. Um. Let's see. Well, the series follows Hotler as he tries to control his mutant powers, and the Sinister Force is trying to control them, control them while evading a government agency. Um, it includes he wanted to show Hotler as an unreliable narrator, including mixing 1960s design with modern day elements and filming the series through the title character's distorted view of reality. It was really good. There's a whole description here, but I'm not going to read that. The Shadow King. I don't know if you know who that X Men villain is. Uh, he is the villain of the not, show, yeah, or uh, one of the villains. One of the villains of the show. Okay. He's also the main character is also the son of Charles Xavier, apparently. I think not, uh, not revealed in my season one, but I didn't even know Charles even had a son. Oh, it's not revealed. Uh, it's not well, alternate revealed. universe, though. I mean, it could be. Anyway, um, way off topic there. Um, speaking of filming. Things. Guess what starts filming on May thirtieth? Uh, what? Blade. Oh, are you serious? Oh goodness! I thought, yeah, I thought they got like delayed a bunch. I guess did they um, find? I think they got their director, but I think they're going to take their time with this because this movie comes out in twenty twenty. Well, it comes out next year, actually, twenty twenty four. Yeah, it comes out right after or right before Deadpool. Oh, okay, right before. Well, okay. Deadpool took its spot. No, it comes out. This is the first movie of 2025. Remember that now. Um, and it pushed Fantastic Four to back one slot as well. Um, they're getting a head start, it seems, on this. Okay. So That's- they must be they must be taking their time with this. I mean, shit. I mean, Blade's. I mean, yeah, Blade's a very important character, and plus, I did. I mean, Marvel didn't like Marvel say they really want to explore like, the dark. Yeah, they want to do the monster and be like supernatural side of Marvel. I, they, I mean, they started with Werewolf by Night, and you got Moon Knight a little bit with that. Oh, I mean, that was like my favorite Disney Plus thing yeah. of, of Phase uh, 4. Mm-hmm. So, I, mean, I, I like already... Michael Giacchino to do the score for Blade. I know he won't direct it because, I mean, I don't think, I don't know if he'd do, want to do Blade or not. It's not too monster. I feel like it's not too, 
I don't know the word. I just don't feel like he'd be the one to do Blade. Maybe too close to Batman. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I see that. I mean, I think... I, I just want him to do the score for the movie. I, I want him... I mean, I want him... I mean, the other name Werewolf by Night was, like, so clever and good. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, I don't know if he... I mean, I don't know if he has the, all the credit, but, man, I mean, it's... He, I mean, he knocked it out of the park of what... Um, yeah. Like I mean, especially with someone like me that's like used to watch that stuff all the time. I was a kid with my grandpa. Mm-hmm. I, mean, it, I mean, it's it was like I watched it with him and he loved it. He's like, oh man, you know, he, yeah. he was having a blast watching. He's it. it like, it's just like you know, I was a kid, man. And so I mean, he he got that like you know, I mean, obviously it felt you know it felt good for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it it was yeah. I really did enjoy it. I love a fun night. Um, I- Speaking of projects that are getting ready to film, um, all of these ones have been interesting. Like, oh, okay, okay, this is this is great. I'm, we're gonna get some leaks, get some stuff. We're also gonna be, get, be getting some leaks um, in June or in after for Venom Three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like all these big players like Captain America 4, Thunderbolts, uh, Blade, all this. So like, oh, they're starting to film. We're like, oh, sweet. And then Venom's like, oh, I'm filming too. And they're like, oh. Oh, uh, I want to be. I want to start filming too. No, uh, no venom. Uh, <laughs> stay in your corner. Uh, stay in your. Stay in your Sony Spider-Man extended alternate that, animated whatever. Just <laughs> that. Well, the longest name on the planet. Yeah, interconnected. I don't remember what it is. Um, yeah, but Venom Three. I don't. I don't want Venom Three. I gotta be you honest. I, um, I, I, I think Venom needs to just he's in the MCU. Well, the symbiote's in the MCU now. I want that to be Venom's story. I don't need any more any Venom. <laughs> Unless this is the last movie and they finish it off. Hope. I don't know. I don't um, think I, it's. I don't think it's necessary, really, at the moment. I'm like. I'm not dying to see what happened to Eddie Brock. <laughs> uh, yes, you are. You just don't know it. Sure, I'm more. I'm dying to see what happened to Morbius. <laughs> Maybe Morbius will be in Venom Three. In that case, it'll be the best movie of whatever 2024. I guess is when it's going to come. 2024 is a crazy year. Spent a lot of money. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it will be definitely. That's a, that's the biggest I'm going to say. I'm spending more money on movies next year, and I'm spending more money on games this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I, I and I think I had to, like save my money for now. I just got into my new apartment and all that, so now I'm just like, <laughs> killing me, man. But I mean, I, I this is probably the biggest year where I don't spend really anything on games because, like, because I, I mean, I, I'm probably gonna spend all my gaming budget this year on Spider Man Two with the collector's yeah. edition. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm probably the only big games I'll really be buying are um, Resident Evil 4 remake. I'll be getting that, and then Suicide Squad, Spider Man, um, and Jedi Fall and Jedi Survivor. Those are probably the big four. Yeah. Um, yeah. Venom 3. Someone in June. I don't know how we got the video games for Venom 3, but anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Venom 3. <laughs> Next up here, Captain America 4 has cast actress Zosha Rockmore. Let me see who this lady is. Zosha Rockmore. I don't recognize any of these projects. Oh, she's in Space Jam, a new legacy. That's all I need to know. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> um, she was in Cherish the Day, Brian Banks, The Mindy Project, GBF, Let's Get Married. Um, dying up here, the female brain, precious nine rides, all nighter, space jam, the disaster artist. I did hear that was a good movie. I did hear um, that was- Patton Oswalt confronts his haters <laughs> and law and order. <laughs> a movie or a show? Patton Oswalt confronts. <laughs> I don't know. It just it's listed on there. Um, oh. She's been cast in a key role in Captain America 4. 
Gotcha. Uh, thought I mentioned that. Next up here, did you see the Wolverine? Uh, Hugh, Hugh Jackman's post that he put out. I did with the Wolverine masks. Yeah, it was a picture from Boss Logic. Um, the designer, he does a lot of art and stuff. And he made a Wolverine mask and he took a picture of it beside the Deadpool mask and then Hugh Jackman re um, posted it. And now yeah. a lot of people are thinking this is, um, and maybe teasing that he's going to get that classic suit. As he should. I think he is getting the classic suit. I mean, because why wouldn't he? Yeah, why wouldn't he? Well, he's saying he's going to wear like a wife beater at the beginning of it, and then Deadpool's going to give him the, uh, the real outfit. He's going to look at him and be like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Not on, not in my movie. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Well, I'm willing to bet money. He's gonna say not in my movie, and then, and then they're gonna have the whole, like maybe he goes back in like to another universe and kills another Wolverine or something, or takes it's, another Wolverine's outfit. <laughs> it takes that Wolverine's outfit. That'd be funny. Um, yeah, I think the Iron T we need that classic suit. I thought I'd talk about that though. Next up, um, I think last week, like before, maybe we talked about um, Sadie Sink, actress who played in Stranger Things and The Whale, um, is rumored to be playing Songbird in Thunderbolts. Um, turns out that a new update has cast doubts that she'll be playing Songbird uh, due to scheduling conflicts. And it's also there was also a rumor that ran out that said Ghost will no longer be a member of the Thunderbolts team. Um, but as of this morning, actually, that has been proven false. She is still a member. Okay. You know, I, I mean, I'd ra- I, I'll, I'll be honest. With you, I'd rather have um, Taskmaster <laughs> out than Ghost. I'll, I'll be, I'll be frank with you. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Um, I guess we'll have to see. I think I. I feel like they may might have learned their lesson with Taskmaster, but well, like I guess it would just see. Uh, I, I don't think they have. Um, let's see here. Let me get a screenshot up for this next one. Uh, some of Kevin Feige said. All right. Kevin Feige has teased the future of Namor in the MCU. He said, you know, people who read the comics know there are 80 years of stories with Namor that we can tap into. And so where and when we'll keep to ourselves for now. But we think that this is an incredibly iconic character that has that's been introduced, probably to most people, most moviegoers for the first time. And we very much expect them to want to see more. We do okay. want to see more. We want to see Namor. Because, okay. Namor. <laughs> uh, no, no, Namor. I'm sorry. Namor. Na- Namor. Namor. No. That's me. That's me. A shirt, roommate. N a y dash m o r e. Yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna be. We're gonna have a picture of Namor with like, like a, a trucker hat on. <laughs> Namor. Um. Yeah. But I'd love to see some more Namor. I mean, a Namor show. Oh. I would. Show. I'd rather have a movie. I'll be honest. He's not gonna get his own movie. Don't think so. Why not? I don't think a villain's going to get his own movie. He's not a villain. Well, well not, a, it was a misunderstanding. Let's go with that. <laughs> we'll see. I doubt though. I don't think they do a Namor movie because I don't think it would fit in. But I think a series would or a special. The Namor special. The more. The more. Um, and the last piece of Marvel news here is a Jeremy Renner update. Uh, okay. He posted a picture today. Saying, morning workouts, resolutions, all changed this particular New Year's. Spawned from tragedy for my entire family and quickly focused into uniting actionable love. I want to thank everyone for their messages and thoughtfulness for my family and I. Much love and appreciation to you all. These 30 plus broken bones will mend. Grow stronger, just like the love and bond with family and friends deepens. Love and blessings to you all. And he is going through physical therapy now and he is healing from his injuries. The legs are saved. They will not be amputated. <laughs> the legs are saved. Um, but I did read that the the um, recovery could take a year or two. Well, I mean, I can't imagine, like, trying to think of what they could have Hawkeye in with him this year. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I don't know. Um... um I, I couldn't imagine either. Maybe Armor Wars, but I mean, they're probably not that Armor yeah. Wars. Secret Invasion is a possibility. He could have... 
I think that's already filmed. You could have filmed something for that already. Yeah. But um, yeah. Yeah, but that's the Marvel. And there's time to move on to DC. First up here with DC, we get some Joker two stuff. Oh. Okay. Um, the working title for Joker one was Romeo. Uh, the working title for Joker two, which is also called Joker Fully Ado, is Juliet. That's wonderful. So Romeo. Uh, and there you very- Juliet. Very, uh, Harley uh, Quinn. I guess she's gonna have way more of a. Well, the movie's supposedly told through the lens of her, like or her point of view. Folia Du, which is the subtitle for the movie, is um, a shared psychosis between two different people. So yeah. two different people are um, believing in the same thing. That's not real. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I, I, I'm excited for this movie. It comes out next year, I think. Right. Uh, yeah, next year. March four. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd put throw that out there though. Um, the working title for Joker two, which they are filming right now. Awesome. Uh, uh did you watch or happen to watch the Netflix's The Sandman, the DC? Show? I did not. I guess I was going to get this. Um, yeah, the Netflix's The Sandman follow up is set to begin filming this summer. Um, I watched three episodes of. I liked it. I just didn't finish it. I started. I was in school and had time constraints and stuff. But um, yeah, I enjoyed the three episodes that I did watch. I mean, thought it was interesting. I've never read the book, so I have nothing to compare it to. That's why we haven't. Re- we didn't review it. But, I mean, it's a thing we could review later on in the future. But um. Yeah, I thought I mentioned that in case anyone was a fan of uh, the Sandman in here. It's a uh, f- follow up. I don't know if it's a sequel or like a another show. I don't, I don't know. I heard. Um, uh, I heard it was like really good. Mm-hmm. The first few episodes were good. Yeah, um, the first one was especially. Mm. Um, yeah, James Gunn is in this next piece of news here. He has indicated that Chris Pratt could be joining the DCU. Well, um, <laughs> who, 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 all right. Let's brainstorm. Miss Pratt, who's he playing? Uh, I've heard everybody. I've heard a lot of people say they want Booster Gold. I I got I, I got one that um I want to throw out there. Yeah. Okay. Hal Jordan. Said, uh, uh, who? Hal Jordan. Imagine. Ooh. Hey man, whatever floats your boat. I mean, hey, I mean, night against it. I don't know. I was throwing one out there. Um, people, some people said he has the comedic timing for the Flash, but like, no, not no. I don't, I don't know about that. Um, let's see who else could Chris Pratt play? Um, I think yeah, Booster Gold is who I want personally. But I know, um, I, and so that gonna be funny. Um, who say it again? Kite Man. I meant that would be funny. Uh, Aquaman. I feel like he might be able to do a good Aquaman. Honestly, yeah, I kind of like that. I spread as Aquaman, I think, would do pretty well. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. how do you get the he could do it? I mean, yeah, like, yeah you know, classic, but you know, Momoa says that <laughs> no one else well, we'll get into that in a second. <laughs> um, let me see, I'm curious about something. What's up? Who could Chris Pratt play? Swamp thing that would be interesting. Swamp thing. He could okay. play Alec Holland. Um, Let's see, the human. Okay, five eight. characters Chris Pratt could play. Let me see. Warshack. <laughs> no, that'd be the, <laughs> the, ventri- last the ventriloquist. Why is that the number five? <laughs> He's a psychopath. Is that why? Okay, uh, Plastic Man. Plastic Man. Um, I, I I would be cool with Plastic Man, but I'd rather have um. It was Sir Gold. There we go. Number three. I'd rather have my DC, uh, Bruce Campbell. He's, he's, <laughs> he just looks like he just looks like Mr. Gold to me. All right, let me look next. Yeah. Metallo. Okay. Oh, the Superman villain. And then number one, did, Green Lantern. Did, wow, number did, one's Green Lantern. Did, did James Gunn specifically say? Chris Pratt, or yeah, he did. It... He said, um, Chris Pratt, he was a person he does believe he'll be working with someday at DC. 
Okay. Which uh, means that makes it seem like to me that he's had talks. And also with Dave Bautista, you mentioned Dave Bautista too. And I want Dave Bautista to play Bane personally. I heard a lot of people say he goes strange. And I think that would. Dave Bautista? I can see that. I can see that. I like that. Actually, I kind of like that. He goes strange as a villain. That'd be one of the villains I'd like to see in the Batman universe. Uh, the Batman, I, mean, I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure. Uh, oh, good lord! What's the director of those movies' name? Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he. I'm sure he would kill it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Pratt. I want Jason Momoa. Um, yeah. I got screenshots, and he put out a video. Uh, of of Jason Momoa, <laughs> you get screenshots of Jason Momoa. Uh, yeah, uh, he put out a video of um, him talking about. He was like, "I just had the greatest meeting at Warner Brothers." He said, "It's awesome. I can't tell you guys much, but it's gonna." I'm so excited. The future is so great. And he said, "I got one thing to say." And he like, you can tell he's hype. He's excited. Yeah. And um, he was like, "I love you, James. I love you, Peter." Um, he said, "I love you, David." David says, "I love everything he's talking about." Yeah. Um. Let me read the screenshots here. He was on an interview. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. So in the, in an interview he was in, um, Variety asked him, what was your meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran like? And Momo laughs, and he said, uh, it's very, very wonderful. I'm in the house of Warner Bros., and they like a lot of the stuff I'm doing, and we've got a lot of good things coming. He said, Aquaman and Lost Kingdom is going to be coming out this December, and then, uh, you know, I'll always be Aquaman. The rumors are, I'll always be Aquaman. Ain't anyone coming in there and taking crap. And then there may be some other characters too. I can play other things too. I can be funny and savage and charming once in a while. The way that sounds to me is that he's just saying like, I'll always be Aquaman, but I'm going to be playing another character now. Yeah. And I don't know, the way he described it. I guarantee James Gunn's not going to have to Two of the same actor playing two different characters like that, especially a big character and a side character like that. Mm-hmm. That um, seems like something to do. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I probably agree. Um, or you, <laughs> we were talking about this earlier today before we were recording. Is it a possibility? He was saying it's kind of like a like a Hugh Jackman thing, like or I, don't, I don't know how to word it, but like I'll always be Aquaman, you know. Or y'all, y'all will always see me as. It awful. would be the yeah. It would. It's the same thing as like if Hugh Jackman or Robert Downey Jr. Um, is like I'll always be Iron Man. It just yeah. like I won't be there anymore. But you, I'll yeah. still be Iron Man in that universe. Yeah. Maybe I'll like, see. Yeah. Or something. Or like I'll still. You can still go oh. back and see me as Iron Man. I'll still be Iron Man, but I'll be doing something else now. Yeah. So that's what I think. See it like, and so a lot of people are thinking that he's playing two different characters. So I don't think that's the case. <laughs> Um, I have some information here about The Flash. Let me find it. Um, we got a, some boy descriptions. Um, let me find where it's at. There it is. Um, we got some action figures revealed for the movie. One figure revealed a villainous Mark Flash, which boasted a mangled face masked behind a bulkier black Flash suit with spikes emerging from the shoulders. The design appears to combine elements of both the corrupted speedster and Savitar from CW's The Flash. Uh, Ezra Miller's Flash can be seen donning the new suit that has been shown across the movie's marketing material. What's particularly interesting comes from another version labeled as The Flash Young Barry. Um, this listing seems to imply that Ezra Miller's second Flash in the movie will not be a multiversal variant as many had expected, but rather the same one fans have grown familiar with from an earlier point in time. Uh, Michael Keaton's Batman is also pictured wearing a suit similar to the one he was last seen wearing in 1992's Batman Returns, but with some slight modernization. This movie's going to suck. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry, but I don't know. I mean, what do you think? I mean, I'm... I- I, I've, I've grown to not be excited for this movie at all. I'm not excited for it either. I'm just kind of like confused about it. It's just mm-hmm. this is the this is the last set of DC movies. They just got to pump them out. Black, I mean, Blue Beetle is the one I'm most excited for anyway. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, I don't know if Blue Beetle is still coming out this year or not. I heard rumors that it was going to be the first movie in the DCU and that was going to kind of lead into it a little bit. 
Huh, okay. But I think I think what they should have done, which I mean, it's fine if they didn't. But Flash, I think, should have been like a universe restarting, like okay, reboot in the Flash. He does like Flashpoint or something and changes everything. Yeah, Flashpoint. Oh, by the way, you're not Flash anymore. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, I heard a rumor that he's still gonna be Flash or what? Is that true? What? I heard a rumor that he's still going to be playing Flash. No. Um, we had talked about this a few weeks ago. Um, Warner Brothers executives still would want him to play Flash. But guess what? They don't have any say in the situation. The only people that have say James. is Peter Saffron and James Gunn. <laughs> like, and James Gunn said that. Yeah. He was like, I have no idea where this is coming from, is what he said. James Gunn. Yeah. So, he, yeah, I mean, James is like... Oh, it's right. a reboot. It's a like, complete reboot. I maybe he'll keep one. I don't think he's even going to keep one or two people. Which is sad mm-hmm. Suicide Squad stuff, but like, yeah, oh, I can live with that. Yeah, I love that movie. yeah, I got you. Um, I want to make just big sacrifice. Like, if he had to get rid of that whole thing, I, I would tell totally- him just don't touch the Batman. <laughs> okay, he's not, and he's not, you know, he came out, he's I mean, not, he, he's he said he wasn't right. I mean, yeah, and we haven't heard any news about how I think it's actually this week that Matt Reeves is uh, meeting with James Gunn. Ooh. Um, and Peter Saffron to talk about everything, but we'll maybe get some information about that shortly. I doubt it though, because James Gunn and Peter Saffron are keeping everything really close to their chest. And Matt Reeves, I don't think, would spill any news. Uh, no, of course not. Yeah. Um, I really wonder. Like, I wonder. Like, the whole what's this whole? Like, what's going on there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And this everything going on with DC right now is just so intriguing to me. I think because we are reporting on the birth of a new cinematic universe. Yeah, and it's just like really exciting. And I have some news that's exciting news at the end of this that we can predict some stuff on. But first, I got some Dwayne Johnson stuff to talk about. Oh, uh, Dwayne Johnson has denied that he pitched a multi-year plan to Warner Brothers about his character. Um, he said this. He said that is simply not true. I had a great meeting with David Zaslav, myself and my longtime business partner, Danny Garcia. Her and myself went in. We sat with David. We did not pitch a 10-year plan at all. But our meeting was the future. What our meeting was the future and how we can build across the entire platform of Warner Brothers and Discovery. You know, I got to tell you, Morgan and David, one of the hardest things that I've had to do, and it's one of the greater disciplines that we have to, pra- have pr- to practice when we're in this position, is you want to be careful with how much you get pulled into the sludge of media reporting. Now, that's not an overall criticism, but you do you do want to be careful about it. So it was very difficult. Wait, let me rephrase that. It was challenging to exercise that kind of discipline just to let these reports come out. Yeah. So basically, um, he said, I didn't pitch a 10-year plan. I pitched a five-year plan. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, thanks, Dwayne. Um, yeah. Um, I, not, saw, uh, I heard that Dwayne Johnson is like, uh, didn't he unfollow the... No, that I think he said that that wasn't true. I don't know what's going on with him. I think he's just like sad. I mean, I feel bad for the dude, but then again, like, I did take it a little hardcore. I get he was like passionate about the role 15 years leading up to that movie. I don't know. It finally happens. And then, like, yeah. um, I mean, it didn't, it didn't bomb. It just, I don't know. Yeah. That movie's confusing. And yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 mean, I thought it was okay. I thought it was good. Um, I, mean, I, I, mean, I remember enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, it was good in the theater. The second time rewatching it, I mean, it's still just good. I didn't like it as much, but I don't think I'd like it any. I don't think I can like it any less than I do now. Yeah, I mean, I can, but like, I won't. it's possible. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. Doctor I mean, Doctor Fate and Hawkman carried like the Just Society carries that movie. They carried that movie, man. And I really hope we see them again, <laughs> again, or some, or I don't know. I mean, I think. Not- when the DCU starts, the Justice Society should already exist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, they kind of already existed in this, though. So. Yeah, but I'm talking like they were already there. The Justice Society is supposed to be a superhero group that were around in like the 60s and 70s and 80s. They mm-hmm. were like the classic superheroes. You had Alan Scott Green Lantern, and you had um, Jay Garrick Flash, and you have Starman. You could throw him in there. And, um, yeah. Sandman, like Sandman's one of them. Yeah, yeah, they're like the Minutemen. Yeah, you. and so um, they literally like just said it's kind of like the Watchmen and Minutemen of um, he's of the of this section of DC, the more mainstream. Yeah. Um, but I think they should already exist, but no yeah. one's seen them for years. Yeah, that'd be, and, I mean, and then you get the reemergence of superheroes, starting with Superman. Yeah. 
And then, yeah, I think that something like that would be cool. I, I'm into that. Yeah. But, um, James Gunn, I want to read this, put out a thing. People are, were scared because they did not want James Gunn to allow any cast members from Guardians of the Galaxy into the DCU. I don't get, but you know, whatever. Um, this is what he said. Um, this is the post, by the way, on Twitter. They said, please do not encourage Guardians of the Galaxy cast to follow you to DCU. Find fresh actors that can craft brilliant characters and forge new memories for audiences instead of swimming in the same muddy pond. I know I'm not alone in feeling this way. Rebirth, not reuse, please. This is what James Gunn said. He said, we have hundreds of roles to cast. As I've always done, some will be brand new faces, some will be actors I've worked with before, and some will be actors you know who I've worked, never worked with. What matters most is the actor fits the role and they're easy to work with. Amen to that, brother. <laughs> Cause it, it, James Gunn just makes sense. I swear. Like, I hate... Com- everybody can agree that comic Twitter is... It's, the, it's, the it, it, it's scumbags of the earth on there. Yes, it is. And... Yeah, we're right in the middle of it. <laughs> we're, of course, we're in the middle of it. And, we're in the war zone. Yeah, we're in the war zone, but I. I mean, it, this follows real quick. Um, August of last year, he tweeted this. He said, I always do due gil- diligence on actors and production heads with directors, actors, producers, and crew members I trust. If it checks out, they're jerks, not just cranky or curmudgeons, but actual jerks or irresponsible, I don't hire them. Some actors I already know never to even consider. Ooh, dang. I wonder who that is. I wonder, oh, who, who did, who's on James? Whoever he's wor- maybe he mates, um, Rain Wilson. Ooh, Rain Wilson, you think so? Uh, it could be. I don't know. I need to, I need to go. I'm going to, I think I'm going to have a time where I go through James Gunn's, um, repertoire of movies. I'm just going to sit down and watch them all. Let's see. Dude, Super is good. I do like that movie. I do need to watch Super. I need to watch Brightburn. I need to watch. Um, I need to watch. Yeah, oh yeah, Brightburn. Yeah, I need to watch that. I think John Spillman used to watch the Suicide Squad. But I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. I think John did watch Super as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, John. Um, <laughs> what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I do agree. James Gunn seems like he knows what he's doing. I think DC is in good hands, even though a lot of people don't think so. I mean, a lot of people do think so as well. So. Oh, I think people are just dumb. <laughs> I I mean, that's true. That's what that I think. True. That is true. Um, and the biggest news, which is the last piece of DC news, James Gunn is set to announce the first few projects in the first chapter of the DCU in the next ten days. Uh, not phases, chapters. Chapters. Yeah, and in the next, sometime within the next ten days. It's gonna be big. Yeah, um, but by the way, ten days isn't the end of the month, so obviously, but still. <laughs> hey, we're getting there. It's supposed to be nine days. It's gonna be great. Yep, it could be any time now. Um, yeah. what was oh, it he, he, it's the first. Hey, it could be. You never know. First few projects, he said. Uh, so I expect two or three, I mean, probably three. A few is three. Um, Superman is probably one of them. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Yeah. Superman's- what are the other? What are the other two? Something Batman related. Okay, so Batman, I think Wonder Woman, or maybe not Wonder Woman. I thought you said like Wonder Woman wouldn't be in it. No, no, that was a lie. That was not a lie. That was a rumor. That was false. He said that. I mean, obviously, he would be using Wonder Woman. Mm. Anyway, he said that that rumor is false. Yeah, I mean, they will be there. Uh, I want to say, what do you think this sets up? This is just a classic Justice League thing. I think so. It's going to be, they're going to take a Marvel phase one approach to it. Yeah. Uh, but I think James Gunn is going to have like a spin on it. You know what I'm saying? What would yeah. that, it'd probably be a, a weird, uh, like, you know, a crazy project. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Man. I'm, yeah. This is like the most excited I've been for like anything superhero related in a long time. I just, I'm so interested to see what he's going to do with this. Cause I, I, I He's made the two DC things he's made. I loved, yeah. and um, and so it obviously puts me in good standing with what, whatever he's going to do next. But um, I just, I mean, he could obviously do wrong, and it turns out maybe this all could be terrible, and that'd be pretty shocking. Um, Zack Snyder is good? Question mark. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
um, you just got clipped. Someone clipped that. And you're like, Landon says, Zack Snyder is good. <laughs> Question mark. Eh? No, he, he, you didn't, they could cut that part out. Zack Snyder is good. Zack <laughs> <laughs> Snyder um, is good. <laughs> there you go. Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but I think honestly, actually, Superman. I don't know if it would be Batman as one of the first few. You don't think that so? would it would coincide with the Batman two releasing? They don't want two Batman movies happening at once. I guarantee uh, you that. They want that moolah. They want that moolah. <laughs> That's true, but then that would be kind of confusing. Some people actually go see the wrong Batman movie. Uh, Oh yeah, I want to see Batman. Oh, which Batman? The Batman. Um, They're both called the Batman. <laughs> yeah, see, so see, you see how that would get a little confusing with like people be like, "Oh, I'm gonna go see this," and they'd be like, "Oh, wait, this is the wrong movie," or something like that, or some that could, that'll happen a lot probably. People accidentally buy the wrong ticket, they click on the wrong movie. That's why they don't have, you know have two Batman movies playing at once. Um, I think. I don't think the one of the first few will be Batman Project. I think that might be the fourth movie. Um, but I think Superman, Green Lantern, is a very huge possibility. He's already talked about how Green Lantern is going to be important for his universe, which makes me think they're going to set up Blackest Night, which is very exciting to me. Yeah, it is very, very. That's the best thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know who would be next. I know he loves Green Arrow. James Gunn. So, I mean, hey. I want to want a Green Arrow movie for your boy. I mean, yeah, Black <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, I don't know if they would. I don't think they put her in the title. I mean, I think well, they introduced I, I, her. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying it would be like a team up movie. Yeah, like team up. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know. We'll see. I guarantee Superman, Green Lantern are my two guests. Superman, hundred percent. I know. We are already now. I know that movie's happening. Yeah. Um, unless he's not counting that, he's counting the few projects after Superman. We'll see. Yeah. I um, mean, I can't believe and it's only the first chapter too, and this is an eight to ten year thing. Like, mm-hmm. we're in for a treat. We're gonna, dude. We're gonna be like thirty when this finishes. <laughs> All right. Ugh. So let's hope. Let's hope the podcast is still going. Lord, that's yeah. yeah. Or just be us like crying our way through reviewing <laughs> all these projects. Yeah. Okay, I don't even want to imagine how many Marvel projects it'll be by then. Yeah, um, yeah. I guarantee. I think it's Superman and Green Lantern, and I don't know. I, I can't think of a third, honestly. Uh, I mean, I mean, Green Arrow ain't out of, out of the question. Or Flash? Well, I don't know if they do a Flash movie so quickly. I don't. Oh, funny. That, that, uh, that wasn't what I meant. But like, he's still- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. That's what you're telling me. Uh, it's like. I don't, I don't know. It's hard because I can't pick because like I feel like we're going to see something that's never really been. I I get a J- maybe we'll get a JSA movie. Maybe the yeah. first movie is going to be a Justice League movie. I don't know. Yeah, what if it's just all Justice League movies? It's something? just it's just Justice League is the first movie. I'm like, oh, they're starting it off. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I doubt it because we know the first movie is a Superman movie. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you, sir. It's very it's very young Superman too. So like, yep. How young are these? Maybe at the end, like maybe we hear about like you know a guy named Vigilante Bruce. Bat spotted in Gotham. Yeah, you know Bruce Wayne comes back from. Well, you get the he gets the Superman or Clark Kent gets the thing at the Daily Bugle like your first big assignment is you go to Gotham and slaps down the newspaper. Vigilante Bat spotted. Yeah, or know, you know, he has to go report on Bruce Wayne coming back from uh, you know training from a. Uh, I mean, everybody knows to know that. Bruce but. Wayne reemerges after ten years of, um, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, training yeah, with so. Rachel Ghoul. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Rods or race? It's race. I'm sick of it. Race. Okay. Um. If you do Arkham Asylum. Um. Oh yeah, oh. that's all the DC news though. Okay. Yeah. Um, Nick, we have another section here. Um, they released a t- kind of like an announcement trailer for season two of Invincible, which is a show I have not watched. Uh, I, I do know watched, I should I, watch it. I just haven't. I watched it, but I never finished it. So 
I guess I, I, mean, I did watch the season two trailer, even though I really didn't know what was going on. It was kind of cool. I mean, it was a little meta thing where he was talking about like, when's the next season of Invincible coming out is what the guy was asking him. And he was like, oh, late 2023. And there's this whole conversation about what he's been doing. And you get to see Steven. What's his name? Uh, Steven. Yeah. He, he played Glenn, the walking dead. I can't remember his name. And that's Steven something. Steven Yo. Steven Yoon. Steven Yin. Right. Steven Yin. Yeah. Steven Yin. Yoon. He voices. Yeah. He shows up like as a human in the. As a vo- doing, doing his voice acting. Yeah. And he shows you see him do his voice acting. Um, yeah. I. I'm not really going to rate. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to rate this trailer because I can't rate anything for the show without having seen it. Well, it, it um, honestly doesn't. Um, I hate it because I never finished it. But uh, yeah, that was Seth Rogen he was talking to. Yeah, yeah, I, could, <laughs> I recognize that immediately. Seth uh, Rogen, um, I don't know if you knew this, um, he is an executive producer on every season of The Boys. Yeah, yeah. And he uh, voice, he's in The Boys season three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen him. The funniest. <laughs> <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you telling me that because now now that's in my head now. <laughs> we need to review that show, dude. Exactly. I want to. We put it on our OnlyFans. I guess I don't know what. Uh, uh, OnlyFans. I don't know. Hey, start. Get that no cat. Patreon. That'd be a Patreon thing. But I I I need to. Uh, I'll probably put out a poll and ask people if we did a Patreon, would they sign up? Mm. And we can put our stuff that we can't put on YouTube on there. Well, well, know, we'll see. Fun. Boys on YouTube. It's just it had to be very like censored. Well, yeah. well, 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 we had to really give a warning, like, hey, yeah, there's some harsh topics. Yeah, uh, we could we could yeah. do the warning. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a warning that popped up at the Hero Gasm episode, at the beginning of it. Yeah, I, I it, feel like that word alone is like a let's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here um i'm gonna share i'm not gonna say this on the podcast but i'm gonna share my screen real quick okay I'm with it. um this is the warning that popped up at the beginning yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be perfect wouldn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love. <laughs> and it says it says at the end of it, it is not suitable for any audience. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for. <laughs> oh God, yeah, I'm thinking about the whole Seth Rogen scene. That was so funny. <laughs> Where'd you go? I'm almost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um. Sorry. Let's continue. <laughs> um. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, the Invincible trailer. Uh, go check that out. Uh, it is out on YouTube right now. Yeah, not yesterday. Yeah. I think or day before. Uh, it came out yesterday. I'm I'm very very excited. Um, for season two. I need to finish the first one. And I don't know if you noticed, um, because you never saw the first season, but the animation is way different. It's more. Um, it looks nicer. In fact, it, I I think I watched a bit of the first episode of the first season and it reminded me a little bit of anime, which is also like one thing that kind of turned me off because uh, I don't like anime, especially, oh, but I also don't that, like that animation nothing. in general. It looked like anime to me. I mean, I don't know, but I can't really compare it because I hate anime and don't feel like watching it. So, I missed out on Omni Man, dude. Like being like, what's with JK Sevens? That's true, but I don't know. I'll probably I'll probably watch it at some point. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go on to gaming. Um, we're gonna start with the uh, small stuff, and then we'll hit the big thing. Yeah. Um, first off, uh, Midnight Suns DLC trailer. Yeah. Um, this is a game I don't have, and um, I you don't have it either, right? I want you no. Know, I want to get it at some point, but I'm just kind of waiting for a little price drop. The gameplay. See, I I don't know if I like the gameplay. I mean, I've kind of warmed up to it. I'm. It's a game that I would play. It's just it looks like a mobile game. It reminds me of a mobile game. Mm-hmm. Um, but the the trailer's funny. It announces Deadpool is going to be a playable character. Morbius is also coming to the game as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's Deadpool is actually accidentally caused vampires to show up. He's working with Blade to stop them. It's voiced by Nolan North, which yeah. just like Deadpool from um, the Deadpool game. Yeah, show some of his attack. Show some of his attacks. He says uh, he has a line where he's like, "Well, Jimmy, my freaking Chongos or something like that." Um, 
there's a line. There's a line, Madam Hydra also shows up in the trailer. She's the villain. It looks like of this DLC. Let's see. There's a scene where um, a piece of paper pops up um, on the screen. It says new reason he doesn't remove his mask. Deadpool is in this game and he's wearing a t-shirt or sometimes he's wearing like nothing but a speedo in one scene, but he still has his mask on. And Deadpool has a line in the game where he says, or I can be honest and say there wasn't the budget for it. (laughs) Dang. I saw a picture like 2K posted it, which is people that like published the game. Mm -hmm. Um, It was a picture of like an NBA, like 2K, like hot tub or whatever. And they like put like they like modded like Deadpool in it. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Um they put it's called the DLC is called The Good, the Bad, and the Undead. Starts January twenty sixth, included in the season pass. Okay. Um Yeah, there's uh three different versions of the game. Yeah. Um there's, like there's a, the oh. legendary there's a legendary edition, digital and then normal. Mm. Uh, I need to I think I will be picking up this game. Probably, probably soon. I don't know when, but I I wanted to go on sale and I'll pick it up. But yeah, I went I went for it to like drop to fifty or forty bucks. And yeah, I, I don't want to pay. Like, was it seventy? Is it seventy? I, yeah, I want to say seventy. I, I don't want I don't want to spend seventy. Mm-hmm. But um, we'll see. I will be. I'll probably stream it. Yeah. Uh, I'll stream. You know, nothing wrong with that. I want to. Uh, I really want to stream Dead Space. I might get that. Hey, you can do that. I might do. I'm uh, thinking. That was a game I was going to stream, but I think I'm going to wait a while to do that. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's the. Is, well, I'm doing mm. another. I'm doing a whole series. I'll be playing like three games. Yeah, that's and then true. I want to do. I want to do Outlast two. I think at some point. Mm-hmm. And or the oh. DLC for Outlast one. Yeah, I got you. I have uh, to do the DLC for Resident Evil Eight. Oh, I keep forgetting things. Sorry. I, I, I probably do. I probably do Dead Space, and also I want to do Spider-Man games, and including the yep. PS3. Uh, mm-hmm. I like to do some PS2 game, like 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 Hulk Ultimate Destruction and all that. Um, if only I could stream Sly Cooper. <laughs> yeah, if only. I mean, can you not stream through? Uh, I don't think you can stream and broadcast stream games and broadcast at the same time. I may be wrong about that. Let me know. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll look into that myself. If I can. I will do or, or I guess you can do Origins. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess, and there's also nothing saying that we can't both do the same games. Mm, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I wish I wish you were like uh, like, like like Game Grumps or something, where like when you were sitting down, both playing, but it's just yeah, uh, yeah. It's the, the the distance I, thing is I, yeah, it's just annoying. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I don't like driving to your house. <laughs> yeah, every, yeah. Every week, I'll be honest with you. Uh, yeah, let me see here. Um... <laughs> Okay, uh, Suicide Squad. Um, good news before I get into the, some of the bigger stuff. The uh, plot leak was fake. Oh, that is good news. Um, turns out the uh, UI leak uh, apparently disproved that. Mm. The plot thing said it's a sp- it's a fully single player story and all this stuff, and we now know. And it's um. Oh, the game's not multiplayer. That's what the no. This is what the plot leak said. It was that it was extremely right. it was single player and um, there was a story driven, uh, like normal game. But they didn't. It said it was not a live service, and which this has now been um, confirmed that I think it is live service. A post that came out with the Warzone. I mean, not Warzone. Sorry, I was reading a post. Suicide Squad UI. Um, Got D, uh, got a DMCA on Twitter. Some some people and they had to take it down. Mm-hmm. Um, it was funny because uh, Evan Falark, a big fan and creator of the Spidey Squad, he posted a picture. Like he's very nervous about the game now because it had like the battle pass thing on it. Huh? It, it said it like Marvel's Avengers, which again, is a game that like, he hated. And yeah. he he posted both pictures. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not really excited for this now. And and dang WB dang copyrighted the Marvel's Avengers photo. <laughs> Say it was there. Wow. It was, I thought that was funny. That's fun. That is funny. Um, now it's hard to find the UI. Now it's been taken down everywhere. I found a very blurry picture of it on Google. That's a link to Twitter. And when you go into Twitter, it's gone. 
Yeah. So I'm looking at this. There is. I can't really like see everything. The UI, I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, it doesn't look really that complicated to me. It just, I guess mean, it just looks boring, you know, kind of just generic. Like it's very a modern game looking UI. You know what I'm saying? Nothing really special about it. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can find a website that talks about it. Here, what's this? Here we go. Um, the UI looks like it's been ripped straight from Warzone. So this yeah. person says, uh, it says it received an all new trailer game awards. So they're fine. Trevor. Um, okay. This is what we can get from the screenshot. Suicide squad will be a live action hybrid title, boasting single and multiplayer gameplay, but also a battle pass optional upgrade. And the battle pass isn't going to be like a, it's going to be more like a challenge card, like Avengers. Had. Um, I hate saying had, um, there are no fewer than six in-game currencies, the identities of which are yet to be revealed but could point towards a rather grindy requirement. I think that's been discredited. Um, the currencies are supposedly for um, buying yeah. the cosmetics, um, and you'll oh, get them okay. from just playing the game. Okay. And there probably there probably will be some like daily challenges. It's an open-world game, I think. So, Or not open-world, but like sort of open-world, open-area, I guess you could say. And so there are probably going to be some like, oh, defeat this many enemies as a daily challenge, and you'll get, or this many Brainiac, and mm-hmm. you'll get a decent amount of stuff to go spend. Yeah. That's the way I see it going. Um, there are no fewer, I read that, there's a rather generic co-op vibe already present with the UI and options closely resembling the likes of Warzone and Back for Blood. I love Warzone on this website. Um <laughs> An in-game yeah. store option suggests that skins and other cosmetics will be available to purchase, but it's hardly a surprise. That is wrong. The store was where you go buy credits. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think there are matchmaking options that nod to the multiplayer aspect of the game. There's a direct indicator that suggests the entire squad can be made up of bots, which goes some way to confirming that the game can be fully explored both with friends or as solo player. And this could be a thing where we both stream it. I yeah. like do a stream like we do with Gotham Knights. I like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, you know, <laughs> but actually like it. <laughs> actually enjoy it possibly. Um, there's a loadout menu which suggests the members of the Suicide Squad can be customized ahead of loading into a game. Um, which I'm, I'm interested in that. Um, get different kinds of gear. I think I'm not sure what it, how, what kind of how the loadout. So I'm not sure much about this game. Be honest, other than the story, which seems yeah. interesting. Um, but it means rock steady and. They've got more hits than misses. Well, I mean, what, what, I mean, really, honestly, what misses do they have? I mean, you. I mean, you. One could argue Arkham Knight. That that, that's, that was kind of a miss for me. That was like it's me. not a. It's you may have not liked some parts, but like that. I mean, it was a decent game overall, I and mean, it wasn't a bad game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, I, I yeah, I. And that game's gorgeous. I, that game I, holds I, up I, now. I I just think it's a bit. Bit of a disappointment. I don't like the tank battles. That's my only issue. Yeah, it, it's just hard replaying it. You know, a bunch when you have those. You know, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, that's our little talk on the Suicide Squad UI. Um, I don't really have much of a anything to say about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I just it's a UI. I'm not going to judge a game off a of UI. I'm just. I'll wait till I play it and then I'll judge it. I really want to just judge it based off the story and gameplay. Which I'd like a gameplay trailer soon. I think we might be getting one eventually. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get what you're saying. I got you. Um, Now. Ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Landon, I'm going to let you take the lead on this one. (laughs) Uh, New outfits come to Marvel's Avengers. (laughs) Uh, um, I don't remember the name of them. Lord, uh, Lady Catherine. Yeah, Lady Catherine. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm making sure I'm getting the right names here. Um, yeah, Kate Bishop's Lady Catherine uh, arrives in the marketplace of Marvel's Avengers today. That's good. And Hawkeye's comics inspired '90s glory outfit is also in the marketplace. But please don't go and buy them. Yep. And, we'll, and you can explain, and we'll explain why. Uh, I hate it. I can, they, oh, let me pull up the article that they put out. You know, actually, you want me to read the article? Yes, please. Okay. 
um, Miller real quick put out an article uh, the other day stating no, that it was that, day. it was that day. It was the same day. Oh, okay, it was the same day. Same day. Uh, it was still the other day from when we were recording this. But um, stating that Marvel's Avengers is close to calling it quits, and it could have been maybe a week out. Um, turns out that he was right. And Marvel's Avengers put out an article, which I'll read here in a moment. Um, and Miller did say that they plan on, they do not plan on releasing any more new heroes. Um, yeah, and there will be... Uh, there will, I'll, here, I'll just read the article. Through our amazing community, after two and a half years and introducing 12 of Earth's Mightiest Heroes, following update 2.8 on March 31st, 2023, we will no longer add new content or features to Marvel's Avengers. All official support for the game will end on September 30th, 2023. Even after official support ceases on September 30th, 2023, both single and multiplayer gameplay will continue to be available. See below for more information. Uh, 2.7 update, which added the Winter Soldier Hero and Cloning Lab Omega Level Threat is the last new content to be added to the game. No new cosmetics are coming to the marketplace, and all final balance updates will occur in Update 2.8 in March. Along with the end of development, we'll also be turning off the cosmetics marketplace. When Update 2.8 launches on March 31st, credits will no longer be purchasable, and all remaining credit balances will be converted into in-game resources to aid ongoing adventures. There's a table on the article that shows what it'll be turned into. You guys can check that out. Yep. Um, as a show of our appreciation for our community, starting March 31st, 2023, we will make all the game's marketplace, challenge card, and shipment cosmetic content available to all players for free. Every single outfit, takedown, emo, and nameplate from the marketplace, challenge cards, and shipments will be free for all players from this date onwards if you own a copy of the game. Giving the full library of marketplace cosmetic content is a way to thank our community by letting everyone experience the breadth and depth of content in Marvel's Avengers. We know this is disappointing news as everyone in our community has such a connection to these characters and their stories. We're so, so grateful that you came on this adventure with us. Your excitement for Marvel's Avengers, from your epic photo mode shots to your threads theorizing who our next heroes would be, to your Twitch streams, has played a large part in bringing this game to life. We hope you continue to play and enjoy Marvel's Avengers. We can't thank you enough for your support and for being part of our super team, the Marvel's Avengers development team. <sighs> Really sad news. Um, uh, it, yeah, it, it really, it really does suck. Yeah, this this is essentially um, taking out, taking it back, out back and shooting it. There is a question. Someone asked a question down here. It says, "Will Spider Man remain a PlayStation exclusive?" And they said, "Yes, it will remain a PlayStation exclusive." <laughs> Um, yeah, take an L. Uh, but like, <laughs> it sucks, man. It, it, and it's a real shame, man. Uh, I was, I this was. Look, in, this is crazy. Well, I, I'm gonna go. I'm, we'll go more in depth with it because we are. I'm announcing that we are doing an extra beef on this whole game. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we're gonna talk about the history, our thoughts on it, and you know. Uh, retrospect yeah. away. Yeah. Um. It. I, I'm. I, I. I've been kind of feeling upset here in this news, but because it's weird because I'm. Al- I was already except the fact that. Okay, this game is ending this year. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm enjoying yeah. it while I still can. But hey, we got four more heroes coming out. You know, you got that cool thing, that cool uh, traversal update coming out. I'm. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Oh, those four. There's no She-Hulk. There's no uh, Captain Marvel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Captain Marvel was like craziest one. Because they, because that, <laughs> I for once I didn't believe Miller. I was like, okay, it's gonna happen, but surely they're gonna do Captain Marvel so they can conclude the story, and that's it. But yeah. no, man, they are, I guess a motion. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do. I guess a motion comic, maybe. I mean, who knows? Yeah, or a physical comic book. I, I really don't know. It's, it's really unfortunate news. Um, like I said, we knew it was coming, but hey, it was this just, is 
people are probably wondering. I mean, we do have some newer audience members. People are probably thinking, all right, why are these guys so obsessed with this game? Why are they upset? Mm-hmm. Um, this game, we this is the we've been reviewing and talking about this game every single episode. Yeah, since we started. Mm-hmm. Um, it's always been a topic at the end of the episode. We talk about the gaming, new skin, whatever's going on in the game. We reviewed countless updates. Yeah, for the game. Talked about when we were happy, when we were mad at the game. Yeah, yeah, I was mad most of the time. Yeah, yeah I, <laughs> I boycotted it once. Yep. Um, um so it's like, like hair, but man, this is. Uh, I liked a lot of things about this game. Um, I, I said on Twitter, I mean, I, I couldn't order any better on than you know, or on Twitter, but like the game, every flaw everyone had with the game was, was pretty fair, a pretty fair criticism, but like, it, it's just, I don't know, like hearing, like I was playing like raid and cloning labs on and talking to people and everyone just kind of expressed like, yeah, this game has issues, but I really, you know, it kind of helps me. Like, like one person said, like, yeah, help them, like, you know, because they worked a hard job. They had, like, two kids and all that. Yeah. And they got out of, like, a divorce. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, like, you know, they're all, he's like, yeah, I know the game's not really that good, but it's pretty fun. You know, I'm into Marvel, and it's really cool teaming up with heroes, and I get to, like, create my own, my own story in a way. And I'm like, yeah, yeah dude, that's awesome. But... <sighs> Here, let me. I'm gonna read um, the Miller article because it's short. Um, it gets more a little bit of information. Uh, Miller stated, "Marvel's Avengers has never had a particularly easy time in the press. The ill fated licensed looter from Tomb Raider developer Crystal Dynamics has seen headlines raging from Marvel's Avengers no longer has a roadmap coming to Marvel's Avengers update leaks your IP address since launching back in September 2020." The strength of the Marvel brand did little to turn the tides in Avengers' favor, and criticism that arose during the title's closed beta continued on throughout its lifespan, namely a lack of content, an overabundance of game-breaking bugs, and a community left feeling abandoned by the developer's sparse communications. This all came to a head in a report here at Xputer last December that revealed the end was in sight and that preparations were being made to sunset the title in 2023. Since then, it would seem the situation has evolved. Uh, sources tell me that while plans to end support for Marvel's Avengers did initially stretch to the back half of 2023, these have quickened following the recent departure of lead developer Brian Wagner. Crystal Dynamics issued a public dressing down to Wagner for a series of unearthed racist tweets that passed this past November, stating that he will no longer be a studio spokesperson or communicating about studio projects. This apparent muzzling lasted until last week when Wagner removed all mention of Avengers from his social media profiles and unfollowed the game's official accounts. Sources say that Wagner was indeed let go and that he will not be replaced on the increasingly small team of developers still working on Avengers, most, with most already doing double duty on one of the studio's other projects. The remaining talent are expected to be moved full-time to Crystal Dynamics' new Tomb Raider title under Amazon Games, which is in full-scale development and will, is going to lead up to a reveal later this year. He said, according to sources at Crystal, the announcement that Avengers is ceasing development could come as early as next week, which now has happened that same day. Um, Their exit strategy includes a series of changes to the game's various systems, namely a removal of artificial time gating and an overhaul to the available cosmetic microtransactions. I'm also told that the game will remain available for sale digitally until at least September, and that efforts are being made to keep the game playable for existing owners as long as possible. Outside of these changes and any subsequent bug fixes, the final regularly scheduled update is an upgrade to player traversal. Sources tell him that this should bring the entire roster's mobility in line with its recent, most recent addition, resolving the long-standing complaint that heroes like Captain America and Hulk feel sluggish when compared to the game's other playable characters. Oh. Um, Do you think some that, of the, sorry, I mean, I'll be, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm in fantasy land right now. I need you to pull me out if this is just not possible. Um, let's say this new update comes out. No. And, Hear me out. It's not gonna fix. It's not gonna pull it back. They've already made their decision to stop the game. Yeah, I know. Well, what if it's like record breaking? Uh, oh well. I'm just uh, saying. Marvel's, it says Marvel's Avengers had a wealth of content that will ultimately not release. This includes patrol mode, a free roaming mode set in the game's largest map that would see players accepting boss bounties to challenge the title's antagonists and unique encounters, among other smaller objectives. This update would have come alongside Join in Progress, which would allow players to drop in and out of fire teams without interrupting gameplay. 
a clash with the Marvel villain Ultron was in the cards. Um, several characters were in the pipeline as well, including She-Hulk and Captain Marvel. They were, these two were part of an earlier internal content release schedule that was updated under Wagner's leadership to include heroes like Jane Foster, Shuri, and Ironheart, which could be accomplished on a lower budget by repurposing existing assets. Um, yeah. The game... Uh, it, it's it, and then he put he has the has the bottom update. It's official now, with yeah. a link to the. Uh, that this really, this really sucks, man. It, it honestly does. I blame Brian for one, throwing everyone yeah. under the under the bus. Um, this person, it, this person put out the thing where they're saying they're going to make all the outfits and stuff free, and they said time to re-download the game. Like, where were you at? Like, where were you at? You weren't spending your money like me. <laughs> yeah. And oh, it's... the Little Mermaid trailer is leaked. Oh, another one. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I said it, I, this thing popped up. Oh, well, well, I'll take a look at that. I'm gonna have to show Abby. Yeah, I'll show her, and she will be mad at me. Sounds <laughs> perfect. Um, but um, I'm really. Uh, yeah, I, I I can't think of words to say right now, but I am I am greatly, I'm I, I'm disappointed and I I'd say I'm mad and disappointed in Square Enix, Brian Wagner, um, and Embracer Group, yeah. uh, Chris, Crystal Dynamics. You know the team there they they do they did what they could and what mm-hmm. budget they had. And like, well, I'll, I'll first of all, I think Square Enix threw them under the bus, thinking this this thing was just going to kick off immediately, and they didn't really need to do nothing about yeah. it. They were like, so, "Let's go back to make fu- making Final Fantasy games." Let's go back. And I mean, I love Final Fantasy, you know, but like, <sighs> no, nah, man, yeah, they didn't do, they didn't do it right. They they they're thinking like live service. I mean, they don't they didn't know how to do a live service game. It's their first time they've ever done it. And they yeah, just, we'll they, talk. We'll we'll um we'll get obviously get more in depth than all this stuff when we do the extra beef because like there's yeah. a whole lot more like the whole um, live service and it, like originally it wasn't a live service and mm, yeah we'll, we'll get into all that the history of the game and oh yeah and you know reveals and all that and yeah miss, missing missing content it's gonna be a long it's gonna be a long episode yeah it's it's pretty cool I mean I, I'm very excited I'm writing stuff down for it yeah. Um, um, I play Brian Wagner for again throwing people under the butt. Uh, I I don't know. I, I know he said he's like, oh, it was me when I was younger. But dude, the guy was like in his late thirties <laughs> when, when it was man. It's terrible. Yeah, and and, and I, I'm I I don't blame Embrace for doing what they're doing because stuff costs money. Mm-hmm. Video game, making video games cost a lot of money, but man, I wish they really pushed this year. It's like okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna double the crystal dynamic. You know, what is it? Have like forty people working? Yeah, something like that. And it's like we're gonna double. We're gonna make it eighty people, and we're gonna put a good amount of money into this. And you know, every every next character is gonna be a pretty decent big expansion. If it's like a new world and good story content and. We're going to see if this can stick because this is going to be the one last year. For say this you, doesn't work, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know. And I'll tell but, you what. One thing I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna miss the most about this game is uh, I loved trying to figure out like, oh, what should the next hero be? The, like, oh, yeah. I, I want Falcon. I want Falcon. And they could do Falcon. Yeah. We're like, look, oh, Quicksilver would be cool. Yeah, and look, you look at the menu. It's like, okay, where would they put him yeah. at? Where yeah. would they play? At? Oh, golly, and. <sighs> It sucks, man, because because I'm gonna think in my head, I'm like, dude, Captain Marvel, oh, this could have been floating over here, you know? Oh, She Hulk could have been like right in the, you know, right in the front or whatever. I mean, it's yeah. <sighs> There's a lot of characters, man, that like they kind of hinted towards like it was supposed to maybe be something like Doctor Strange. Never, never got Doctor Strange. Especially Captain Marvel. We never got Doctor you know Strange. What I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> Doctor Strange, Wanda, we never got them. Yeah, I know. It's. <sighs> Man, this sucks. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> it, it does suck. See what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, so extra extra beefs will be very bittersweet. Um, yeah, we'll get into more depth there. We are getting um, an update next week, so we still are not done with Avengers. News as of now. Next March, week, I think 
March, it'll call, we'll call it a... Ne- call next the, week. And we will do a farewell stream. Yep. Um, I mean, I'm going to keep playing after the update to kind of just soak it in a bit. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, uh, Friday, yeah, 2.8, we'll, uh, we'll go in and, you know, we'll invite some of you guys, you know, if y'all want to, to come join. Yeah. Join in for us and we'll, you know, go over outfits and all that. I and mean, they're all going to be free so we can all explore and look through them. Yeah. You know and, okay. um, very excited. And yeah. And then after that, March 30, it'll be March 31st. Probably we do that stream. Um, um maybe. And, um, after that, that'll be it. That's it. Um, I felt like my favorite show was ending. That's what it makes me feel I- like. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, but this leaves off on a. It's like one of those. It's like. It's but like it's a, like a terrible cliffhanger. It's like terrible cliffhanger. It's like oh, you know. <laughs> and it's sad because of like it's like a show that you really want to be good, and you can see there's is something there that's good about it, but it's just it never got the development it needed to to be good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's it's exactly like. Fat woman, the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? What it need? It, I'm not gonna get into it. I want to change. I, we don't have time. We have three minutes left uh, this meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already <laughs> already yeah. went that box about Marvel's Avengers, but we will do a big extra beef on it. We yeah, gotta think we'll of go a, more in depth. Because I don't want to just call it Marvel's Avengers extra beef. I want to be all like, I don't know. The long the, the life the lifespan of Marvel's Avengers. Yeah, something like that. The life. I don't know. The the, the um yeah. The Marvel's Avengers the life, the retrospective. Life <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, we can go ahead and get out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Thank you all so much for joining us this week. If you have any questions, comments, corrections, or concerns, you can contact me on Instagram at Darien H four four zero four. That's D A R I E N H four four zero four, or on Instagram at the Comic Burrito. Uh, hold on. Oh wait, hold on. Let's Facebook. I, it's been. Hold on. I'm. Ooh. I'm tired. I'm tired. Rusty. Okay. Rewind. Okay, here we go. Or on Instagram at the comic burrito underscore official. Or on Facebook at the comic burrito colon official page. Or on Twitter at the CB burrito. Capital C, capital B, capital B in burrito. Landon, where can they contact you from? Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> I was up to text you. You went, you went quiet on my end. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you can contact me at Spider underscore Landon on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Him, um, always interactive over there. We sat on Twitter for a bit for Marvel's Avengers, but uh, yep. yeah. Huh. Um. With that being said, we are going to go ahead and get out of here, and I will. Well, I, I will. I'm acting like this is a stream. We will <laughs> talk to you. Now, Landon's not here. He's not going to talk to you. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys. Excelsior. Excelsior.